welcome back here on another sunny day here. So, movie news. We heard just the other day that Scarlett Johansson is going to be producing and starring in a remake of Tower of Terror. Some of you might remember, know this Disney ride down at Disneyland or Disney World. I don't know, the one in Florida. I don't know which one that is. Uh, I remember it. I remember when I was a kid and going down to Disney World and riding the ride. Then my sophomore year of high school, went down again, went on the ride. You know, you go into the elevator, elevator goes up, then it goes all the way down, then it comes up again, then it goes all the way down, then it goes all the way up. Yeah, scared the shit out of me. Uh, I hate roller coasters, so not knowing, maybe that first time, you know, the, your, your lung goes up in, into your chest, goes up to your throat, you get that weird feeling. Um, but they remake, they're remaking it, Scarlett Johansson. You all know who Scarlett Johansson is by now, from the Marvel movies, Black Widow. Uh, he was just recently nominated for an Academy Award for Marriage Story. Uh, Jojo Rabbit. Um, it's very interesting to see Scarlett Johansson start, you know. Now we don't, let me go back for a second. We don't know what the, what Scarlett Johansson is going to be playing in the movie. It says she's starring in the movie. So is she going to be playing the ghost? Is living in the Tower of Terror. They had a 90s movie back in the 90s. Around 95, 97, I want to say, with uh, Kirsten Dunst playing the daughter of the father. The father, picture right here, he was in Three Minutes of Maybe. Uh, I don't remember his name. But this used to be a Disney TV movie. And I remember every October on Disney Channel, they would play this movie with, you know, Halloween Town and. Don't Look Under the Bed, and Mom's Got a Day with a Vampire, and Phantom of the Multiflex. So, and they had Tower of Terror. In fact, last October, I was in Walmart, and then you had a, you know, DVD copy of the movie, and I almost picked it up. I'm like, no. Funny enough, I can probably watch it on Disney Plus now. Um, and that movie like this started young Kirsten Dunst. When she was in that child star phase that everyone wanted her from Jumanji to an interview with the vampire. And then obviously and then later on becoming MJ in Spider-Man films. Um, so, and I, the reason that I bring that up is going back to what I was talking about. We don't know what Scarlett Johansson is playing in this movie. Is she going to be a ghost? Is she, are they going to change the story from a father and daughter? to a mother and daughter, or a mother and son. We've seen Scarlett Johansson in the last two of her movies, Marriage Story and Jojo Rabbit, playing a, playing a parent, a mother, which is always interesting when you think, ten years ago she was, you know, she played, she starred in Iron Man 2 as Black Widow, and before that she was over like Lost in Translation, all those Woody Allen movies, and then my first, uh, most people's first, you know, introduction to Scarlett Johansson was in uh, 1997's Home Alone 3. Bad Home Alone movie. Um, but she played the sister in that movie. And now to see her playing these parent roles, like, wow. You know, times have changed. Um, so we don't know. We know that uh, Disney said that this will be a PG-13 movie, like more in line with Pirates of the Caribbean. So I guess we're going to have a more scary or darker uh, film than the PG or G-rated one back in the 90s. And also, you know, not like that Haunted Mansion movie back in 2003 with Eddie Murphy. Uh, I guess they're gonna, like the PG-13 means they're going to have some darker moments. You know, maybe an edgier story. And like that maybe Scarlett Johansson is going to play a mother. And she's going to have a daughter. Or she's going to have a son. 
where she goes to the hotel. Um, I'm very interested, like I said, I enjoyed the 90s version of what it was, and seeing that they're going to put more of an edgier stamp on this, and with Scarlett Johansson, this should be really good. And it, the, it didn't say anything about being on Disney Plus, so it also, also might be in theaters. So, look forward to that. Uh, we'll probably have more in the coming months on, you know, more casting and what role Johansson will be playing. Other than that, once again, Matt and Matt here, like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again, uh, more stories to come.